doing no zipping, trying to be different, trying to be a newer woman. No. That shit look if you need a dick, you need a move. I'm a doctor of internal medicine, so let me tell you the long-term side effects of semaglutide in patients without diabetes. Let me clarify something really quickly. So Ozempic is semaglutide for patients with diabetes, whereas Wigovi is semaglutide for people without diabetes used for weight loss. Either way, they're both semaglutide. So let's talk about it in patients without diabetes. Number one would be significant weight loss. This study right here shows that it was safe and efficacious to help with weight loss in people that were obese without diabetes. Number two would be improved blood pressure. This review right here shows that people without diabetes also had improved blood pressure, which makes sense because as we lose weight, our blood pressure tends to improve as well. Number three, and this one is huge, people without diabetes but with cardiovascular disease, it reduces their incidence of death, non-fatal myocardial infarction, and stroke. Number four, this study right here, this is a patients with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. It improves their symptoms and improves their six-minute walk test. So you can see these medications have incredible health benefits even for those without diabetes. Now that we've talked about all the incredible things that could do for your health, we need to talk about the dark side. So from the majority of the studies, what we see is a pretty large amount of people will have GI side effects such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, bad acid reflux. Somewhere between 10 to 15 percent of patients will discontinue the medications because of these side effects. The more scary side effects such as gastroparesis, pancreatitis, bowel obstruction are extremely rare but they have been reported. There's a study right here that talks about that. Now it is a higher risk compared to other weight loss medications but it's still the overall risk is still less than one percent. One other thing I'll say is this class of medication is not necessarily new. Now Ozempic and Wilgovi they're on the newer side but the class the GLP-1 agonist such as Leerglutide that's another one of the medications has been around since 2010. So we have over two decades of research on this class of medication. Long answer short, what happens in patients without diabetes? They improve their cardiovascular outcomes. They have significant weight loss. They likely improve their blood pressure. And they improve many other cardiometabolic factors within their life. So for people who battle obesity, it is very likely that the benefits outweigh the risk. But of course, you have to decide this for yourself based off your own individual health.